Good morning and welcome to the February edition of the Cannon County Chamber Connection. We're proud to be here and we're glad you're watching and we're proud of DTC because they're here and they make this possible. And I've always been very thankful for their partnership with the chamber. They do a lot for us and we do appreciate that. Um, February is here and along with it, we have gotten spring weather. It is so pretty out there and the you got a little rain, but you know, that's okay. It's 70 some degrees. This is my kind of weather. And I have daffodils ready to bloom. They may be wishing they hadn't poked their heads out so soon next week, but we'll take it this week anyway. Of course, this is Valentine's month. And so you have to uh, be kind to your sweetie. You don't have to, but <laughs> it, it makes things a lot easier if you are. And I am going to go ahead with our guest today because I have one guest that has to leave. She has another appointment with, um, you got radio, don't yes. you? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Lindsay Duggan, and she is here with All Things Art Center, of course. Yes. And Lindsay, what are we looking at now? Well, um, our very first show of the season opens February 8th. That's this coming Friday, um, but it runs for three weekends. It will run February 8th through the 23rd, and that is Singing in the Rain. Um, and the rehearsals are going so well for that. And if you want to see it rain on stage, come <laughs> and get tickets. For you may be rain. part of that rain. <laughs> That's right. Um, no, but we have six amazing shows this season um, at the Arts Center for our 2019 season. Uh, we have Singing in the Rain, followed by The Nerd, which is a play that's comedic. It's so funny. Um, then in July, we have We Will Rock You, which is based entirely on the music of Queen. Um, and it's a really fun show. Uh, then we have Mamma Mia in August, which is always a crowd favorite. And Clue the Musical is in September, um, and that is actually based on the Clue board game um, that everybody loves. Have, we, have you had that before? You haven't. I haven't have done you? this one before. Yeah. It's brand new, um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be different every time you see it. You get to kind of play the show like you oh, do the board game. Okay. Um, so definitely uh, get tickets to see that. And then we're closing the season this year with A Christmas Story, um, which is a Christmas favorite that plays on TV um, all Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'll have to bring my leg lamp. I yes. have one of them. Leg, <laughs> leg lamps are allowed. Um, so anyway, we've got some really great shows. There's six shows um, and our season tickets are still on sale. Um, and for that Six shows, you get $60 season tickets. That averages $10 a show, which is a really great deal. And that's a gift that gives all year. Absolutely. I mean, you just, and they're all good. I mean, you don't, I haven't ever heard anybody say, well, that was awful. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, we, we have high expectations for our shows as well. Um, but we definitely um, are selling those season tickets. A lot of people buy them as gifts. I think they're a great gift option. I do too. Um, so definitely check us out with those. Um, our concert series, we have concert series here as well. If maybe you're not into theater so much, but you like to hear some good music. Um, our concert series this year, our next concert is not until May. And we're doing um, the May the 18th and 19th. There's a group called the Piano Men, and it is the music of Billy Joel and Elton John. So if you're if that's more your style, definitely check out our concert series. Uh, we have a lot to offer for that as well. You just had Hank and the Honky Tonk, Tonk Heroes. Heroes. Yes, yes. <laughs> and that was a fantastic show. They did such a great job. We have some really talented bands that come through here. Um, so it's it's a great crowd pleaser. You've got one there that I really like, Shake, okay. Rattle, and Roll. Shake, Rattle, and Roll. Okay, they are a favorite of mine as well. Mm -hmm. If you came to see Million Dollar Quartet with us a couple of years ago, um, it's the same group of guys that just kind of stayed connected after that show. They've created their own group, and they have called it Shake, Rattle, and Roll. And that is the music of Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, and Jerry Lee Lewis. Um, so and It's great. It's fantastic. Really talented guys. And they're doing two concerts with us this year. So there's one in June, June the 7th and 8th, Shake, Rattle, and Roll. Then in December, they've switched it up a little bit. 
They're going to do December 20th through the 22nd, and they're calling it Jingle Rattle and Roll. Well, there you go, and they're all going to wear Santa hats. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you have two chances this year to see that group, um, and they're fantastic. All right, they are. I've seen them. They are great. Okay, do you have any for the children? We do. So coming up, um, Aladdin Jr. Is, is our next show for our students. Um, and we do school groups to come see Aladdin Jr. So we've got um, a lot of shows for our students uh, in local schools, but it's open to the public on two Saturdays. So um, if you want to bring your grandkids, your nieces, nephews, kids, um, this is a great opportunity. The children's shows run for about an hour and 15 minutes. They're made with, for kids with small attention spans. There's gonna be all your favorite <laughs> Aladdin songs and characters. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So the public show dates for that show is March 9th and March 16th. Those are the two Saturdays that you can come and see Aladdin Jr. here at the Art Center. And I believe those are two o'clock matinees. But actually, these shows for the kids from the schools will go on all week, won't That's they? correct. We do our school shows during the week, and we bus kids in, and we get to fill the building full of kids. And, and it's amazing <laughs> to watch that. It's Much fun. less the show. It is so fun. Uh, and the kids are great, and they're always so excited to see the shows, and they come out singing and dancing, and that's what we like. <laughs> yes, they do. So that's uh, Okay, that's and anything want. else we need to know? You know, we've got two great uh, art shows going on right now. Uh, in the hall, the paintings you see behind us are beautiful. Definitely come in and check those out. And we also have a pottery and pastels uh, show that's happening in our front lobby, the Burger Gallery. Um, these shows are open to the public Tuesday through Saturday from 10 until 4. It's free of charge. You can come in at any time and just uh, check out this great local art. These pictures are great. They're colorful. These are my kind of, this is my kind of art. I like color. And even the ones out in the uh, Burger Gallery, they're, they're great too, along with the pottery. Mm -hmm. And the pottery is always a favorite of yes. everyone. Yes, and um, most of the art is on sale as well. So you can take it home. And we always have things on sale from local artists in our gift shop. That's right. So. And we have a lot of people that come in there and look around. Yes, all right, That's Lindsay, I know you've got to go. I seen Beth walk through the lobby, so okay. she's going to come back there with a sign that says, let's go in well, just a moment. But thanks for having thank me. Thank you for coming on and telling us Yes, I everything. hope to see everybody at the Art Center soon. Oh, you will. And some you didn't count on. <laughs> okay, my second guest is Everything Senior Center. And that's Deborah Leach, because she is the director of the Senior Center. And Deborah... You always have something going on there too. And of course you have a heart for seniors this year, this month, don't you? Yes, we have our, every February, it's our annual giving campaign called Have a Heart for Seniors. And we kick that off on February 1st and it goes through the month of February. And it just gives our seniors, um, their family, friends, anybody in the community, any business, an opportunity to support our programs and our services and uh, give donations. Um, and we so appreciate it. The generosity is always overwhelming. Um, but it's uh, tax free, tax deductible, um, because we are a nonprofit, 501c3. So any donation that anyone gives to the senior center. I don't think the average person really, re and I know there are senior citizen centers everywhere, mm -hmm. but I have to say, I haven't been to all of them, but I can't imagine any of them giving more to their people, their seniors, than what Cannon County does, because you have everything there for them. We do They're, have a lot going on. Um, we have from exercise class, and I'll, I'll tell you, our exercise program right now is booming. And partly, I think I, because I it's heard you talk about January, that. but, you know, uh, we all have a New Year's resolution to get more fit and to think about our health. But, yes, um, people drive by and they'll, they'll come in and they'll say, or they'll call and they'll say, your parking lot is full in the front and in the back. And I'll say, well, <laughs> it's because of exercise. But our exercise program is excellent, I will have to say. Um, the instructors are wonderful. Um, and we have a good variety. We have exercise classes every day. Um, two a day, and then we have them for people of um, all, I guess, 
ranges from, you know, those who have arthritis versus those who prefer something uh, more lower impact like yoga versus uh, weight training to the muscle boom class to just your classic silver sneakers general class. So. Can I just sit in a chair and move my arms and you my can. mouth? <laughs> you can. I don't know. <laughs> You can come to our exercise <coughs> fitness room and just exercise individually. Well, if you that want. was the other thing I was <laughs> going to mention is you have a fitness room. Yeah. That's amazing, too. And it always stays booked up, doesn't it? It does. It stays busy as well. Do they have to sign up for certain times or is it just first come, first serve? First come, first serve. And sometimes in the afternoon, you can have a private, you know, your own all by yourself. private <laughs> by yourself treadmill with the TV. So, well, yes. all right. There you go. <laughs> but of course, we have lots of other programs, too, you know, other than just exercise right. going on. And because you also educate, don't you? Yes. And, of course, this is uh, income tax time. Yes. And I'm sure you have someone out there that can uh, help people with the mm -hmm. things that they're dealing with. Yeah, there's a volunteer. It's called VADA, Volunteer Income Tax Assistance. Mm -hmm. United Way is one of our great um, supporters. All and, right. um, they have a group of volunteers um, who are trained and they will provide tax assistance free. And they will be coming to the Senior Center. It will be in March, and we don't have a firm date just because they're still working on their schedule. Right. But we will be a site. And so what we're doing is going ahead and just signing people up, encouraging them to call if they're interested. We're putting them on our list, and then we'll call them back with the date. But um, there is some criteria to be able to get your taxes completed free through this program, and I believe, um, the income aspect is $66,000 and under earned income during 2018. So, um, but always, um, you know, just call. They'll they'll tell you whether or not they can help and right. set up an appointment. Excellent, excellent program. We are fortunate and thankful to be able to have it at the Senior Center here. You also have advisors that come in. Well, you have health people. You have doctors and pharmacists and type, this type of thing that come in and help too, don't they? Yes, I, I'm glad you mentioned that because we've got a very special guest coming in February. Okay. Dr. Weber, Dr. Jeffrey Weber, who's um, a cardiologist who a lot of people here know because they um, have gone to him for help. And um, he is coming on February 14th, Valentine's Day, to be well, our guest speaker. I mean, there how you go. How that? appropriate. And um, I brought a flyer because his lovely picture is on here. Okay. But um, it is, um, his topic is going to be the world of hearts, something old and something new. <laughs> so we're excited about him coming to talk about heart health and being on Valentine's Day. And I told him, I said, well, we're going to have a Valentine party that day. And he said, oh, great. That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to have cake and cookies and punch and um, dancing and music and Dr. Weber. Well, there you go. <laughs> and you can have some punch and dance with Dr. Weber. I mean, what more can you ask? I've never met him in person, but in talking with him on the phone, he's very nice. I and, think I have. And just seems like a lot of fun. So yeah. I think he'll enjoy it. Because I believe he came over at the hospital at one time. I'm not sure, but I think that's where I met him. Uh -huh. Yeah, he still um, provides services here in Woodbury. Yeah, so. that's what I thought. I think I took my mother to him. Yeah. Um, so we're excited okay, about him. Okay, now there's other things. On a, You talk about party. You guys are always partying, aren't you? You have music night. Yes. Twice a month we have bands that come in for music night. And I, I don't think a lot of people realize that it's open to the public. Anybody can come. And so is Dr. I need to go back to Dr. Weber's presentation. Okay. It's open to the public as well. So anybody can come in for that presentation, and he wants people to come in for that. Um, but our music nights, yes, um, they're usually on the first and the third Friday of every month. We have a different band. The doors open at 6 o'clock. Music starts at 7, and um, the admission is $5 at the door. Okay. So, I mean, you can't you Do can't they get to that. dance? Oh, yes. We have <laughs> line dancing, a lot of line dancing. Now, I just observe. I, I am not. I tried those classes. Mm -mm. I'm not too good at it. But um, 
Yes, <laughs> lots of line dancing, but you can just sit and watch. We have complimentary coffee. You know. Oh, there you go. There you go. And um, um, we do offer line dancing classes, though, since you mentioned that as well at the Senior Center. And they are open to the public, too. People come in that are Do you aren't still have your art classes? No. Oh, I hate that. Well, you know, we, uh, we had art classes uh, when I first came to the Senior Center, and then it got to where there was just like one, one or two, two people, and it wasn't worth the people who were teaching the class to come for that. Well, I came to several of them, but then I realized that after you've painted so many, you run out of room. Yeah, I think that's kind of what happens. And I kind of, I don't know that anybody else wants them. So. <laughs> but we have had a, people, a couple of people ask, so we're always willing to yeah. um, to start something new and to try it again. So we may do that pretty soon. Okay. Well, those, they were fun. Yeah. I mean, and you'd be surprised when you've got someone there to show you what color to put where and when you drag it and when you dab it and all of that, <laughs> that you can come out with something that actually looks like a picture of something. So, yeah, I was proud. I had painted a little before, but she made it look so easy, and I thought, you know, I'm looking at mine, and I thought mine doesn't look like hers. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not an artist, that's for sure. Um, I thought about jewelry making classes, too. I, you know, that's, that's, good. that's really popular right now, and a lot of the handmade jewelry, and I thought about having a class, offering a class where you could actually make something that you could wear and take home. Yeah. Would be nice. No, that so. would be nice. I've got several things that need to be repaired. Can I bring it? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, we're always no. open to new ideas as well. And as a matter of fact, we just finished completing a survey um, of our members just to get some new ideas, fresh ideas, to see what people like, what they don't like. And so we've got some feedback. So. Okay, good. Well, what don't they like? I can't imagine. But uh, it's, I guess the point I'm trying to make is uh, you're going to be active if you want to go over there. Now, if you want to just sit in the chair and watch, you can do that too because you also serve food every day, don't you, we except do. for the weekend. We partner with Upper Cumberland Human Resource Agency, or UCHRA, and uh, a meal is provided every day, Monday through Friday, um, at 11.15, we serve lunch. It is, uh, we tried a different, or they tried a different vendor um, this last year. So it, it's a little different than maybe if you came several years ago in the yeah. past. But it is a it is a homemade cooked meal, cooked off-site. Um, and then it is packaged, sealed, and then it's delivered to us. So you do have to make a reservation because they are pre-ordered. Mm -hmm. um, and so we want to know who's coming on a particular day. Um, so all you have to do is be a member of the center, um, call the day before reserve, and you can have a meal. And it is, um, they're actually free. There is no charge. Um, it is donation based. Most people okay. do donate something. Um, but yeah, Monday through Friday. We used to didn't serve on Wednesdays, so we have added that in the last year. Well, that's good because mm -hmm. there are people out there that probably wouldn't eat if it wasn't. Yes, and, and of course that's the whole basis for having a congregate meal, really, is to have a hot meal for people who might not have a meal otherwise, but also the social aspect of being able to come into the senior center, meet with friends, meet other people, Socialize. sit at a table. Yeah, and, and that is part of it because mm -hmm. loneliness is a big aspect in seniors' lives, especially mm -hmm. if they're alone. You know, if their spouse has died or something and you're alone, yeah, you need to get out there and socialize. So the senior, you've got computers. Yes, we do. We have a computer room. We have four computers um, that they're able to get on and access email, the Internet, um, very convenient to have that there. You um, still have the puzzles? We still have the puzzles. <laughs> we, we call it our library puzzle room computer room. It's all in one. But we have a table set up where um, people come in and just work a puzzle during the day. And we have some people that come and sit and work. That's what they do. They enjoy that. Yeah. Working a puzzle. I like working puzzles, mm -hmm. but I'm kind of selfish, you know. <laughs> and I think a lot of people are when they work on a puzzle. 
if they're working on it, they yeah. want to work on it. Right. And if somebody else comes in and puts a piece or two in, it's like, well, who did that? Yeah. <laughs> but, that's not right. But we have some that uh, they work together well. They but, do. But you can I'm also take our puzzles home. Oh. Yes, you can check them out. Take okay. them home. And, and we get puzzles donated all the time, so we have plenty. So you I might want to work a of Christmas puzzle. puzzles. I have some at home I've never even opened. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I don't have time anymore to do that. And I don't know why. I'm <laughs> not doing any more or doing anything <laughs> less. But but you have other things that go on every day. You have birthday parties once a month. You have soup day. Oh, yeah. You have that ice cream in a... Uh, that banana split. Yeah, the one that was in the... Uh, <laughs> that was <laughs> in the drain. <laughs> we still do that in the summer, yes. <laughs> <laughs> with that <laughs> it's a lot of fun you need to come <laughs> i was up there one day one but time. i just couldn't eat out of that uh water drain that <laughs> well, we, we put it in bowls <laughs> we clean it out every year i know it's never been used <laughs> for anything else <laughs> it's just unique but it's fun it and they didn't mind it at all they were having a big time oh with no that. when you got ice cream with all the works. Mm -mm. No, they're not going to gripe about that. But then me, you I, have your other things during the year, too, because you also take a lot of trips. Oh, yes, yes. Um, we have a travel program. Um, try to promote it because it is for um, everyone. It's for the public. Anybody can go on our trips. Um, so uh, we've got several coming up. We've got a day trip coming up to the Southern Women's Show. Oh, I think you probably always have a bunch that go to we that, do. don't you? We do. We have a bus load that go to that. We love it. So we'll be, that's in March this year. Yeah. They moved it up a, a month. Um, so that will be March 9th, and anybody can go with us. Um, then we have um, three trips that we're taking in 2019. Um, the first one is to Mackinac Island, and that will be in June. It's a bus trip. Um, I've never been to Mackinac Island, but um, the Senior Center took that trip several years ago, I think maybe in 2012, and a lot of people requested to go back because we oh, book okay. a trip, well, and they said good. it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful there. So oh, good. Um, that will be in June, and then um, coming up in November, um, the last three years, we've been taking um, an international trip with Collect Tours, and um, of course, the first year we went to Italy, uh, then we went to Ireland, and then this past year we went to Switzerland, Austria, and Bavaria, and then this coming year we're going to London and Paris. Oh, okay. So we're excited. It's dinner in the Eiffel Tower. I just can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine because you'll have to eat something like this, and I don't know how you're going to do that. But it'll be know, okay. But I think I can handle it. <laughs> um, and then we also have a cruise to Australia. And we've had a lot oh, of that interest be. in that. It's it's going to be really nice. They fly out in October, um, and then uh, the cruise ends um, early November. So um, it's going to be really But now, nice. that's summer over there, isn't it? Well, I don't know, actually. Because their seasons are a little different from ours. Okay. Right now, they're having floods. You don't want to go over there. Okay. Because they're having bad floods, right? I know when we but I always thought if I were going to go anywhere outside of the United States, Australia would be the one. And I don't know why, because it has nine of the most poisonous snakes in the world <laughs> are in Australia. And so I don't really know why I want to go there, because I probably wouldn't step foot out of whatever Off I was the cruise in. Ship. <laughs> Well, it ports in a lot of different places. <laughs> yeah, it does. And I think you would want to see those. And then there's a lot of excursions you can also yeah. purchase if you want. But, um, yeah, we've got several people. You may be able to camp in the outback. Who knows? You, just... you might want to consider this if it's on oh, your I don't. list. I'm, I'm, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> right now, now I heard this on the news this last week, that they were having uh, some terrible floods down there. And um, I think it was, yeah, it was Australian that there was alligators and snakes on the sidewalks of the... Now, now, Carolyn, you're going <laughs> to scare my business away. <laughs> <You're gonna> <laughs> well, some people might like that. 
<laughs> Some people may, that may be adventurous to them. Me, oh. I'm just terrified. I want to be on the top floor if that's happening. Well, <laughs> well keep in staying. mind, you're on this amazing <laughs> ship, and, and truly, you don't have to get off if you don't really want to, but... Well, it's not worth going if you don't get off. That's it. true, especially not that far. You know, my son, my youngest son went to, um, mm -hmm. uh, he went on a cruise for the first time, I think it was last year, the year before, and I really didn't think that he would be as appreciative of it as his wife and, and daughter and everything. Mm -hmm. He had a ball, but they brought back a picture, Lauren did, of him out swimming with the dolphins oh, and wow. one was kissing him oh, and my. he had on a hat that looked like Gilligan's Isle. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I thought this is so funny but he said he had a really good time. Well it sounds like it. So yeah. you know now that I'd like to swim with the dolphins. I don't swim very well so but I, I don't guess they were in water above your head. I don't know. I don't, but. Well I don't know. <laughs> But Usually you fun. have uh, professional guides who are kind of out there with you. Watching you. Yes. <laughs> well, right there just those. in case. Well, my biggest worry in his too was getting back to the boat on time before um, they left. <laughs> yes. So, but now what else? Get back to the senior center. You might all want to go down there and swim with the dolphins. Well, I have been snorkeling in the Bahamas. Does that count? Well, there you go. It's pretty close. <laughs> uh, you know, a dolphin might have swam by. Who knows? <laughs> oh, me. Um, trips are, are amazing, and it is a great opportunity um, because the group travel, um, some people think, oh, I don't want to go with a group or I don't want to be with a bunch of other people, but it's amazing because you, you get to meet new people, uh, but you have so much time, too, to individually do your own thing. Yeah. Like when I was in Austria, I love shopping. So <laughs> I spent three hours in one store by oh myself. Oh my God, that sounds jewelry, like me. A jewelry store. <laughs> so you have time on your own as well. So it's not just like you're with people all the time. Yeah, that you can't. Oh yeah. And with these, the group travel too, you get to do so much more than you would ever do if you tried to plan it on because your own. Because they know. Oh yes. And, and you get better rates. Yeah. And the time of year that we travel, particularly in November, um, you do get better rates. It's one reason why we do it. But also, it, there's not as much tourism. So when you go um, and you want to go tour something, there's no lines. Oh, I and love it's that. Wonderful. <laughs> so, for example, when I was in Italy, I really got to go up all of those stairs in the Leaning Tower of Pisa to the very top. <laughs> And the tour guide said she'd been 11 times, professional tour guide, never had even got to step foot in that in, in the building because the lines were way too long. Yeah. So she'd never been in November. So it's worth it to, uh, to be That's able to like do That's like when we like went that. to Disneyland. That was the, uh, in Florida, Disney World, that mm -hmm. was the biggest complaint I had is everything had a line, everything. Yeah. You know, of course, I don't go on the rides, but everything had a light. I did go on a couple of them that they assured me that it didn't turn upside down or go spin around. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, the other thing, too, about these trips is um, you stay in either four to five star hotels. And I think the ones we've stayed in have been at least four point five star. And uh, when I was in Ireland, we got to stay in a castle. A real oh, castle. that would be great. I think. Yes. yes. It was beautiful. Good. So opportunities that you wouldn't normally get otherwise. Yeah. So it's worth it. So that's memories. Yes. <laughs> that you're so making. Check out our travel program for sure. Yeah. And that's anybody. anybody. Anyone that wants to go. If you want to go to the Southern Women's Show. Yes. Call them. Think of. But that one will probably fill up. I'd say you'll you'll have a bus load full for that. We may, but um, we probably can always take a few more. We okay. usually have about 30, 35 go. So we can always have a few more. That'd be fun. Yeah. It would. What else, dear? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. You mentioned, let me go back to soup day, because you did mention our soup I day. I did mention soup day. I've been over there a couple of times <laughs> for soup day. People might be wondering, what is that? But um, we have the best cooks in uh, town. It's I'm sure soup. you do. Yeah. And so our soup days are real popular, but it's just a big potluck. 
But, you know, we just had our trivia night. I was going to ask you, how did that go? Yes, it went well. And, of course, we served soup um, that night. Um, It went well. We had 14 teams competing, 14 tables. It's the most we've ever had. Uh, 85 people. Well, there you go. It's become very popular and great competition. One point separated the winners. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know, for first runner up. So uh, it was a lot of fun. But we Good old days. Yes. Coming up in May. That's our next big fundraiser. You know, a lot of people don't know that it's hosted by the Senior Center and that all proceeds go to the Senior Center. But it- You know, I think because years ago, uh, Bill Smith, did the yeah started good old, uh, yeah and then mm-hmm. it kind of faded away you know and then when it came back it was it's always been sponsored since it came back mm-hmm. by the senior center yeah so we're excited as always um, this year the dates are May seventeenth and eighteenth that is Friday and Saturday it's always the third week in May on the square on the square around the square the courthouse yes. And you are taking application for vendors? We are. We've already got some vendors. We've had several calls. Uh, We're getting our website updated, and we do have a separate website. Of course, we have a website for the Senior Senior Center. Center, And then we have a separate one that is just for good old days. It's canoncountygoodolddays.com. And so all of our forms, our vendor forms, our sponsor forms, everything will be on there. Of course, it's on there from last year. Right. Um, we're get, we're going to be updating it, and uh, our prices haven't gone up though, so everything's pretty much the same. Just the dates will change, but seventeenth and eighteenth. And that really is your biggest fundraiser for it the is. year, isn't it? We have several fundraisers throughout the year, but that is our largest. And the community just gets involved, and and we just really appreciate all the support from local businesses, individuals. We have pageants. We do. Dog shows. (laughs) Baby shows. (laughs) Yes. The parade. The 5K. Um, So we have And, of course, all the vendors. And you have live music. Retail vendors. Entertainment. Live music. Yes. Okay. It's just a good festival, family event, fun time for the entire family. It, you know, it kind of took the place when it first started of our county fair. Yes. Which went away many years ago. And mm-hmm. one reason was our population didn't warrant a big enough um, carnival. Okay. And they would only send a few carnival pieces there you know it Mm -hmm. finally got to that point so we just of course the county I do too and the county fair Mm -hmm. also had um, you know competitions for uh, bakery items and art and vegetables and everything and see we didn't we haven't had that in a few years but Mm -hmm. that was real popular I entered, I remember I was always in 4-H as a child, and so we would have contests like either a poster contest displayed there at the community center. Right. Along with all the fruits and vegetables. And I know my mom had entered, uh, she does quilting and lots of uh, needlework and things like that, and I remember she had entered some things. You know, it's like everybody. I remember I did a, a, I used to do ceramics, Right. And I did an umbrella stand, and it was kind of a different technique. Mm-hmm. And I did that and something else, and I won uh, first place in both of them. And I think it was because they were the only ones entered in there. But um, the thing was, I think I won $3. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that, that was the prize, you know, just a couple of dollars, but, but you were really proud of, it you was, know. It was, it was, I winning. thought I won. In the competition, they also had ribbons. It's I remember bragging, ribbons. Right. That's, That's right. That's what it is. That's right. But that was that was a lot of fun. And you know, we don't we don't have that anymore. And I wish mm-hmm. that I wish that we did. Now I had a gentleman call me last year, and he said that they were having a fair again. And I thought, really? Mm-hmm. And I thought, well, who's doing all this? You know? And he was going to bring me back some information, which he never did get back with me, but. Um, at the timing, he had told me, I went down and looked, and we did have a carnival. Carnival. 
but that's not a fair. <laughs> it's across from the senior center right. uh, in the fairgrounds. Yes, I remember seeing that. It was a nice carnival, and the kids love it, but that's not what I consider a fair. Yeah, it's old-fashioned old yep. fair. I'll tell you who still has one is, is uh, Warren County. Oh, yes. If it's you go to theirs, good. theirs has all of that stuff in them. Well, hopefully good old days will be, you know. I hope the we weather's good. We try to expand a little bit every year. And uh, last year we had the most vendors that we've had um, since I've been there. So it's uh, so it was excellent. Um, yes, the weather. That is always a challenge. It is. You can't control the weather. The and last the rain, year and it, the rain um, and the rain. <laughs> it made a difference in several of our events last year. Yes, that sailed, you it know. did. Um, I guess that's just part of May, it. isn't it? I mean, part of the weather in May. It, 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 it seems like, though, the week before or the week after is always beautiful. Yeah, of course it is. And the, the day week before. Of, it's not. But it's, it just seems that way. It may not be that way. But it's well, see, rain, I had to uh, use the rain date on the car show last year, which hurts because people plan their car shows and there's a lot of them around us and everything, and they plan theirs on certain times, so you're always interfering with somebody else's, you know, and it makes oh, yes. a difference, so. Yeah. Yeah, but that that's when you have outside events, that's one of the well, things you it. just hope for the best. Yes, <laughs> and we do. <laughs> and you always have some rain during we do. good old days. You we do. I mean, do. we have some good weather, and then we have some not so good weather. We just go with it. I remember one year I sat up over there, well, it was been just two or three years ago, and I set up the tent, you know, and I'm getting, of course, all of my stuff is paper, you know, it's yes. informational stuff and mm -hmm. everything. Got it all under the tent and it opened up and just started pouring and I thought, great. So I'm in there dragging all this stuff to the middle of the tent and trying to get it covered up so it's not soaking wet. Mm -hmm. But the tent would hold water. Yeah. So you'd have to go out with a broom or something at your face. Well, when you did that, you're drowning the guy next to you, you know? So, I know. <laughs> so I thought, okay, this isn't fun. <laughs> but, it made it, but it did do that a couple of times. Yes. But everything, well, I remember it pouring down the rain, and they had a beauty contest going on, and they just kept right on. Yes, the only time we had to change the venue was move it to the courthouse a couple of years ago upstairs. We had mm -hmm. to move it to the courtroom because it was torrential. We could yeah. not have it on the stage, but most of the time we make it pretty good. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's all right. Well, have we covered everything? Well, we've covered a lot. <laughs> I think we have covered a lot, so. Well, I'm proud because that's a lot of, that's a lot of events for one organization. Yes. We I stay mean, busy. We have you a do. lot of seniors. That and they, and. And they come, a lot of them come every day, don't yes, they? Yes, we have some regular that come every single day that we're open. Mm -hmm. And then one may mosey in every now and then. That's right. That's right. It's surprising. We, we technically have over 1,600 members, um, but we have over 500 that come through in a given month. That's unduplicated people. That is well, that's single really people, good. Almost 600. So, yeah, it's really good. And on the average day... Uh, anywhere from, I'd say, 50 to 70, something like that. And I think the the community supports the Senior Center oh, because absolutely. they realize yes, we couldn't what an asset that is without all of our community partners. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think that's with most organizations and a lot of businesses, too, you know, so. Yes. Well, Deborah... I always appreciate you coming on and telling us about everything that's going on and the trips. And I'm sure there's some people listening or watching this that probably don't know well, all of this I goes hope so. on. so. So they can always just contact us or stop by. We're yeah. open five days a week. Just go in and look around. Yes. And I have lots of, I have brochures and information on our trips. And we also on our website have a section about travel. So you can actually watch some videos oh, there you of go. our trips that we're getting ready to take okay. and kind of learn a little bit more about it. You know, another thing is, and I'm going to talk about this a little later, but event venues, you also have an area that you rent out. 
Yes, we do. I'm glad you mentioned that. We do because um, we rent our cafeteria area and mm -hmm. then we rent the large room. Um, and we have a lot of people that rent it through the week a lot of organizations that meet there for mm -hmm. their particular group meetings. meetings yeah. um, but then we also on the weekends rent it out to the general public as well. Um, and so people have birthday parties. We've got several class reunions coming up. Um, we have the have, Princess Ball there. Yes, <laughs> the Princess Ball will be there. And um, so, so yeah, we are um, open to rentals for uh, different events. Okay. From a family birthday party to a class reunion. We've even had a wedding reception. Right. And I'm told there was a wedding there one time. So. Well, I mean, it's big enough. You yes. wouldn't, if yes. you don't have a lot of guests, it, yes. well, even if you had a lot of guests, it was big enough. And it's really, a, um, our large room is really beautiful when you get it set up. It is. It's so, a very lovely room. So, yes, um, they can call us uh, for that as well. Okay. All right, well, thank you, Carolyn. Well, you're very welcome, and we'll do this again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, one of the things that um, I didn't get to talk about that I'll do some follow-up on was we did have our chamber banquet. It was held in January. We had 41 attendees, and we don't have a speaker that comes to our banquet, uh, not a professional speaker. Of course, our president opens it up and everything, but we give everybody that attends a 60 second commercial. Now that doesn't sound like much, but actually it's kind of fun, but everybody gets to talk and they seem to enjoy that more than they do because you get to meet who's there. There's always some people that show up that you haven't met before, you haven't seen. So that's the whole purpose of this really, is to get people in the community to meet each other, you know? And of course, um, it's fun to listen to them, we have food. And I will mention that um, we had a caterer that was scheduled and um, he had an accident and was killed. And so uh, Mike Alexander, and I know y'all will remember Mike because he catered many events in and out of Cannon County. And if you ever remember seeing the big pink uh, truck show up with the Christy Q barbecue on it, that was him. And um, he will surely be missed because he, he catered many places like I say, inside and outside of Cannon County. But we did have it catered by DJ's Restaurant, who did a great job, and our desserts were from Tea Cakes uh, Cafe and, and Bakery. And um, the cakes were beautiful, and everybody said they were good. I didn't get to eat any, but they said they were good. Okay, um, at a previous um, chamber meeting last year, we decided that our board was too big. We couldn't get enough people to show up sometimes at, for various reasons to, that we could have a quorum. So we decided to um, limit, uh, reduce the number from 15 board members t to nine. And of course, we do that every year. And in January, we introduce a new board and some of these because you are elected to the board on a three-year term and you can have two of those, and then when you reach six years, you have to step off the board for at least a year before you come back on, and we've had some that have done that. But um, our president this year is Gary Hancock. Our vice president is Marsha Petty. Our treasurer was Deborah Leach, who you just uh, got through listening to. And our board members are Dan Alexander with First Bank, uh, Brian Gill, who is the CAO of St. Thomas Stones River Hospital, Beth McQuarrie, who is director of the Art Center, Danielle Mosley is with UCHRA, and Krista Trail is with First National Bank, and Martha Whitmore is with Global Industrial Components. So uh, that's a very manageable board and um, we hope that 
that continues to be the case because these are people that volunteer their time. And a lot of them are, um, some of them, well, Gary is retired. Of course, I think he works harder now than when he worked, but he's retired from DCC. And the rest of them are all business people or citizens, and they, they volunteer their time to do this. They aren't paid to come to these meetings and discuss the things. And of course, I've always said the mission of the chamber really is to pr promote Cannon County, Woodbury, Auburn Town, Gasway, they're all Cannon County. And that's the chamber's job as, as far as I'm concerned is to promote it and even outside of our borders because we want to invite people to come into Cannon County. We want the tourist trade. We have some great venues for that. We have some great events and there's something that everybody will enjoy. You may not enjoy all of them, but um, you know, we have great antique shopping. We have some unique shopping as far as for health related stores that sell a lot of uh, different type items. We And so, you know, it just boutiques, restaurants, we have great restaurants and some of our venues that you can use for weddings. This room that we're in right now is belongs to the Art Center and they've had weddings here, they've had showers, they've had business meetings, company parties. It's a great room and it's a large room and they will rent it out. And also the corners at Stones River is a bed and breakfast and they have an outside event area that you can use for just about anything. It's, it's really nice and it's covered. Rustic Elegance is an event center on Doolittle Road and they have a lot of weddings and events there. Readable Mill wedding venue, plus they have a great restaurant. Now some of these restaurants are open only on the weekends. And so sometimes it's hard to promote them because of that, because it seems like every time someone comes in wanting to tour all of these, it's on a Wednesday. And I don't know why, but it is. And of course, some of them aren't open. The Short Mountain Distillery has a great restaurant. Plus, they'll they'll have they have events up there. They have music concerts. They have disc golf uh, course up there, and they will also cater to uh, weddings and events that you would like to have. Beautiful farm, and the restaurant is beautiful too. Uh, let me see what else. The barn at Olive Branch is in our breedable is in our breedable area. And they have a barn that they have uh, made into a meeting or a wedding venue. And I believe they've had some weddings down there. It's fairly new. The Greatness Factory is right here in town and they have uh, meeting space and events. Um, probably more meetings than other things, but it is there and it's available. The Cannon Inn of Woodbury is our motel or hotel. It has great clean rooms uh, at affordable prices. And so we don't want to leave that out. I don't think it holds very many events uh, because of the lack of space. But if you need a room and you're coming here for something, then be sure and contact them because they can accommodate you. Uh, the chamber offers, office is located inside of the art center. And we are open Tuesday through Friday from eight till 12, the, the chamber is. Uh, the art center is open all week, so, except for Sunday. And uh, my number is 615-563-2222 in case you need to contact the chamber for anything, we'll be glad to talk to you. Just a few of the events that happen each year, and these are ones that happen every year. There are other events that happen during the year that maybe haven't happened before and they're new and I don't know about them yet. But a few of the events is a princess ball and of course that is a father-daughter dance and that will be held on Good Friday this year. 
at the senior center. The Moonlight Drive-In isn't an event, but it is to us. It opens up in late March, early April. And of course, the drive-in attracts people from all counties, surrounding counties, and we're real proud of it. The cruise in on the square will be the fourth Saturday of every month, except September, and that's because that's the color of fall car show. And uh, it'll be from four till seven, and you can call me if there's anything you need to know about that. Uh, let's see, oh, that will start in April through October, except for September. And then the townwide yard sale and the good old days are in May along with the Cannon County Walking Horse Memorial Day Trail Ride, which is always on uh, Memorial Day. <laughs> Gasway Homecoming is in June, and Fireworks Show and Lions Club One Night Walking Horse Show, they're in July. Red Apple Days in Auburn Town in August, White Oak Craft Fair in September, and the Cannon County Walking Horse Labor Day uh, Trail Ride will be in September, Color Fall Car and Truck Show in September, Cannon Country Christmas in November, Christmas Gala at the Senior Center, uh, that will be in December, Lions Club Christmas events, which begins with Pancakes with Santa, and then the Lions Club Christmas Parade and the Tour of Homes, which was great this last year. And uh, let's see, the White Oaks Craft Show that is in September, and I think I forgot to mention that, but that is right here at the Art Center outside. These are all artisans that set up for this. They draw a crowd from everywhere. They come from out of state for that. Um, let me see. Plus all the plays and the concerts that are hosted at the Art Center, and we have a very active flea market. We had a good day on, it was, I guess it was Saturday. I think there was standing room only down there. We went by and there wasn't a parking place left anywhere. So that's good. So we have something for everybody and we invite you to please stop by and visit us. You may not come to everything, but you can pick and choose and you can always go to our Facebook page or our website and see what's happening each month out of the year and it might be something that you'd be interested in and that's about all that i have for this <laughs> for this month but we want to thank you for watching and happy valentine's day and remember candy flowers dinner and gift cards are always appreciated